mask reaction today's your day you put a comment on the channel a while back i don't even remember what video it was maybe editor keegan will be nice enough to pop it up on screen somewhere point is you asked a question i said i'd get back to you let's break that down today Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness, my name is Keegan and today we're going to be talking about combining supplements to get optimal effects. Uh, it's actually going to be answering one of your questions out there. I have no problem doing these things. If you guys have more questions, comment section below, let me know. Of course, while you're down there, please like and subscribe. Much appreciated, helps the channel and helps the algorithm see that this channel is worthwhile and push it to more people, which is super good for us. So, let's get right into it, shall we? So, the mask, the mask reaction asked... Can you please make a guide about how to mix the following? EAA, glutamine, creatine hydrochloride and monohydrate complex, weight isolate, what time to take, morning, evening, pre, post workout, uh, what quantity should be mixed, what schedule should be mixed together and what should be not mixed together or what could can be mixed, etc. Thanks. Big question. But I think we can tackle this one pretty quickly. Let's start, shall we? So, one, EAAs. I mean, there's a pretty much any time. There, there's no real one time that you necessarily have to take them or don't want to take them. They work pretty good as an intro workout supplement. So it's the kind of thing that I would usually put in a drink to drink throughout my workout. That being said, the vast majority of you guys out there are not going to need it because a lot of people are not doing long enough or intense enough workouts to really justify having an EAA or some sort of intro workout thing. For the most part, though, if you're going to put it anywhere, intra is one place where I would put it. You can just drink it throughout the day, of course. Nothing wrong with that, but that's one place where I probably would put it. Moving on to the next one, L-glutamine. Um, you can put this anywhere again. Uh, it really would depend on the dosage. If we're doing like a five gram scoop, which is what most people are probably gonna do, it really doesn't matter. Your gastrointestinal system is extremely greedy when it comes to glutamine, and so it's gonna take most of slash all of that all by itself nowhere else is going to really get any of it because your gastrointestinal system really likes to use it for repair. So uh, unless you're taking it up to like say 30, 25, 30 grams, uh, then we might be thinking about some of it actually making it to the muscle, at which point in time maybe post-workout would be beneficial. But quite frankly, depending on how often you're working out, you're going to be in a repair for some muscle group in the 24 hours following the workout. So it's not going to really be a huge deal regardless. Um, there are much more important factors to pay attention to. Next, creatine hydrochloride and monohydrate complex. Here's my advice for that one. Stop buying that. I don't know, there's no point in buying creatine hydrochloride and monohydrate complex. Every piece of information I've seen, all the studies that I've seen on the various alternate forms of creatine have shown that they are in no way more effective and in some cases nowhere near as effective as creatine monohydrate. Get yourself a pure creatine monohydrate. You'll be way better off for it. It's usually way cheaper too. Hydrochloride is hella expensive. And so you usually end up getting the companies telling you things like take 750 milligrams of it uh, in order to get an effective dose. That is not an effective dose of creatine hydrochloride. And I have yet to see any science that really backs that up. At least any reliable science anyway. So get yourself a creatine monohydrate. Run with that. I have a whole video on when you should take that. So... Feel free to, you know, jump on that, check it out, and get your information from there. It'll definitely be helpful. Um, next, uh, way isolate what time to take morning, evening. Okay, this one's easy. The most effective thing you can really do is make sure that your protein supplement that you're taking is helping to get you to the optimal amount of protein you should be intaking over the course of the day in order to see muscle gains. That's usually going to be around one gram of protein to one pound of body weight. So the amount you take will be whatever bridges the gap between the number it's supposed to be and the number you're currently intaking through Whole Foods. That's really it on like the dosage amount. Uh, as far as the timing, again, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, just getting the appropriate amount over the course of the day. Spread it out relatively evenly. Um, but that's really the long and the short of that. I think there's some research from... Schoenfeld to say that a 
approximately 40 grams is going to be the optimal amount for the vast majority of people who are working out relatively intensely and regularly. So, you know, stick to around that, but that should pretty much cover you. So there you go. Doesn't matter what time of day, just get it in my dude. Uh, and in terms of what should be mixed together and what should not be mixed together, literally nothing in this list shouldn't be mixed together it can all be mixed together there's no real reason why any one of these things can't be mixed in fact given the studies on the most effective way to dose creatine mixing it in with a protein shake and having it with a meal or something that has carbs in it about 45 to 40 50 grams of carbs will about that would be optimal so you know you can go for that uh, i have a whole video on that as well I don't know if I'll link that up here or if I'll link that below, but it's going to get linked somewhere. So feel free to check that out. It might be in the end cards. So, you know, wait for the end of the video. You can go right to it from there. Um, that being said, um, there's nothing that in this mix that you can't mix together. All those things are okay to mix together. Why you would do all of them together at the same time is beyond me. EAAs are going to be in a protein isolate from a whole food, like an animal source. Um, creatine you could mix together like you've already talked about uh, glutamine again there's usually some going to be present inside of your isolate so why but i guess you could uh, to amp up the amount the total amount but again not necessary but you can mix them all together if you want it just doesn't really serve much of a, a purpose really um so yeah i hope that answers your question so the mask reaction did i answer your question is there anything i missed if there is comment section let's chat any of you out there, did I say anything that confused the living hell out of you? If you have any more topics that you'd like me to tackle, questions you'd like me to answer, comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. It gives me plenty of ammo for a new video, so I'm happy to do it. And I love to talk to you guys. Plus, it helps with the algorithm. Let's not act like I'm not trying to get you to help me with the algorithm. That is super helpful for the channel. And all of you who do comment, I appreciate the ever-living heck out of all of you. Thank you so much. That pretty much does it for this video. So hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it please hit the like and subscribe button of course and that way you can be notified of all the future videos we got coming out and of course stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace